Siren Warrior. Back to another episode on the Silent Warrior. We've come out on a bitterly cold morning. It, we should be in the, the 20 degrees sort of bracket this time of year, but we are running at 6 degrees at the moment. It is very cold. We've got northerly wind, so it's brought a bit of a chill. Um, the idea is we're going to go wrecking today. So I've set up three rods here. They're light rods with, with casting jigs on them and slow jigs, just in case I find any birds on the way out. And then we've set up a 12-20 with a jigging reel, a little five inch or six inch scary eel, sidewinder eel. And we're running on about a six foot flowing trace. We'll talk about it more when I start fishing. We have got about another five or six miles to go to the first wreck. I've got about eight wrecks in a big loop that I'm going to do today. If we don't do very well on them, we'll come in short on the shallow reefs and see if we can pick out some bass and brass and pollen and bits and bobs. But let's get out there and see what we can do. <laughs> Reeling in 10, 15 to 20 times, 20 turns on the reel, just to get that lure working. Right, this is wreck number two. This is quite a small wreck, so we've got to get down quite quick. Again, we're drifting at 2.7, 2.8 knots. It's a, it's a fast drift. Just going to clip one side of it on this drift. In fact, we've pretty much missed it. Let's give it a go anyway. All right, what I'm going to do. I'll put a super long leader on this. That's about, it's got to be eight foot. I'm going to send him out. Right, well, we have come right in shore. Going to see if we can find anything on these shallow reefs. only in 20 foot of water just working out there's a little wreck in there with a load of sandbanks around it it's only in about 30 foot of water I'm probably gonna miss it on my first attempt I'm just figuring out what the tide's doing Oops. 
Yeah, fish on. <laughs> oh, fish on. Well, there you go. After all that offshore rubbish, we're finally into fish. Oh, it's a nice rat. See if I can sort this net out. Might lose it. No, we're alright. <laughs> well, there you go. That's a big old rat. We've come right in shore. Them offshore wrecks just weren't fishing. It just wasn't happening. You wait till you have a look at this. Oh, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need my pliers on this. Tangled right up in the net, causing me a right bit of grief. For a rat. <laughs> it's a beautiful ballon rat. I need to get some photos of that. We'll get them sent back. Well, I'm well happy with that. Let's fish right up on the top here. 15 foot down. Let's get some photos. We'll get them sent back. Well, there you go. He's going back. Have a little bit of a soak. There we go. Right. Well, this inshore fishing, hopefully, is going to be the one for us today. It's these little mimic speed jigs. They're um, they're pretty lethal. Hopefully we can find a few species. Rass is all good and fun. But I'll tell you what, what sort of ground are we on at the moment? I'm just gonna stick it down here. I know which way I'm drifting now for that little wreck. Just got this lure tangled up. I'll untangle this. And we'll see what we can do. No drift here at all. I'm drifting at 0 0.4 knots. So it's going to take us a while to get back over that little bit of ground we want. But there'll be fish mooching around in around it. So we'll just keep plucking away with this lure. beautiful in here today if you've watched your last video oh, yeah fish on <laughs> that feels like another rat <laughs> what we got not as big as the last one that's another rat Not as big as the last one, but still a fish. Well, I can hold him properly and not like a spastic. When I'm slipping my finger up in his gills like this, I'm not touching 
is gill rakers. Oh. There we go. Only a little one. You can go straight back. Straight back down. Little pollock. Oh, there you go. There we go. Little pollock. Nice see if we can find a couple of bigger ones of them. There we go. Ah, another big rat. off while I'm holding him. A little soft plastic doing the trick on that. He's building up to kick off. There he goes. There you go. A little soft little soft plastic. Just flicking it around in that shallows. Pinned him well. Second, so I can get a. There we go. Nice ras. Straight back down. Oh, we're just running right off the edge of that little bit of reef at the moment, so I'm gonna stick that down again, just to see if anything's patrolling right on the edge. Just coming off the end of it now. Slightly smaller rat. They're loving the soft plastics. Whee, calm yourself down, mate. You've got to be careful. They have got spikes. He's Larry, this one. Only a little tiny one, not very colourful at all either. Oh, he's engulfed that lure. There we go. Right, well, it'd be silly not to get that straight back down once I've untangled it. 
This lure won't last very long if I catch too many rats. Because they chomp the tails off. There's some nice big rats around here. Have a look at that. Whee, calm yourself down, mate. Have a look at that for a rat. <laughs> Nice big chunks. Good sport on light gear. Oy! And very slippery. <laughs> very bony mouse. Show him off again quick before he kicks off. Gonna kick off. <laughs> you can feel it building up, ready to have a squirm. There you go. Size of him. Nice fish. You see what I mean about mangling the lures? I should save it. He's a bit beat up. He's a little bit worse for wear. But I think he's still going to work. It's nice to catch them rats. Like I said a minute ago, it's nice to catch them. And they're good, hard fighting fish. Really want a big bass. When nothing else is biting, I'm quite happy plodding along here catching rats. You never know, you might bump into a six, seven pounder. They do get big. Kick off. Right, there he goes. <laughs> there we go. Look, siding on his mouth. He's only a smaller one. This lure is not going to handle very many more of them, though, I don't think. I cannot hold on to fish today. There you go. <laughs> oh, he hasn't mangled that lure that badly. He's good to go again. Right, that's it. That's in this session. I'm calling it. For the last three hours, we haven't been able to find a fish. It's been really difficult. Uh, we've tried all sorts. I've tried every single lure I've got. I've tried all different grounds. It just wasn't happening. So that's it. That's the end of the session. Uh, if you like the video, don't forget forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. It's completely free, and it's a massive help to me. 
and we'll see you on the next episode.